The following events were recorded as they happened at the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. On this episode of Life's Little Miracles, Kathy's heart operation, Matthew's injured foot, Amanda's scoliosis surgery, and Mia's chance to hear. We're very excited for her. Right, sweetie? Ten-month-old Mia Tassillo was born profoundly deaf and is being prepared for cochlear implant surgery. A cochlear implant works by stimulating the hearing nerve to create signals recognized as sound by the brain. The operation is Mia's last chance for hearing. I knew as a mom that there was something wrong with her when she was about four four months old, she wasn't really responding to things like her toys. She wasn't really, you know, turning around to noise and stuff like that. So following my gut, I brought her to the hospital and had her tested. And that's how we found out that she was, she had a loss. They gave us the hearing aids maybe a month after she was diagnosed. We didn't notice uh, any We didn't notice any, any benefit. We just noticed it's more of a teething toy than anything else for her. She just pulls them out and chews on them. But um, we were hopeful. But now, thank God, now there's something else she can have that will, you know, give her hearing. We're very excited for her. Right, sweetie? How about what our daughter said, the oldest Oh, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> our daughter said, I'm going to cry if you... So? Make... She, she said on the day when she gets implanted and they hook her up, she said, Mommy, I'm going to give her the best, best present. And I thought, she, what, she, what, is she gonna, what is she going to say? She's going to give her a doll? Because, you know, a five-year-old little girl. I said, what are you going to give her? And she said, I'm going to sing her a song. And then she sang that song. She said, today is me as hearing. Fourteen-year-old Amanda Biglow has developed scoliosis a severe curvature of the spine. As a result, she is in pain and can no longer participate in physical activities. I used to play basketball. Yeah. And just do like normal stuff. Yeah. Today, Amanda faces major surgery to straighten her spine. Okay. She was, uh, would be 12 when she, we noticed the problem. Up till that, she was. Yeah, everything was. Everything okay. was we thought it was great. platform shoes actually causing. Yeah, the, that's what we blamed it on. Yeah, but yeah. it hurts, sir. You want to be straight. You already? Sure. <laughs> Is it over yet? Yeah. Good morning. How are you doing? Okay. Let me just take. Uh, can I take a look at your back before we start? Yeah. Why don't you stand up here? You can face your mom and dad. You want to put your hands out in front of you and bend forward for me? Okay, good. And come on back up again. Super. So the operation that we're going to do for this is you make an incision up and down in your back. And we're going to put rods and hooks onto your, into your spine and actually some screws to the bottom part of the spine and hold the spine to a straightened position and then use bone graft to fuse it in place. And what they'll do is they'll make all the different parts of the back that are, are crooked not completely straight, but a lot more straight. How high should the sky or scar go? But it'll probably go to the mid part of where your ribs are. The risks to this operation are, are a little bit different. The main risk that everyone worries about is damage to the nerves inside your spine. You can get infection from any kind of operation. And the infection, if you have the rods in, it's just a little bit complicated because there is hardware in place and it's a little bit harder to eradicate the infection just with antibiotics. And it may require additional operations if you get an infection. Do you have any other questions? No. Okay. Okay. okay, so I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay. Although her surgery is still two weeks away, Mia begins the training that will help her understand sound once her cochlear implant is activated. This is her very first session, and what I'm going to do is I'm trying to see if she can hear much of anything. Mia! Do you 
think she responds at home to anything? I, I can tell you airplanes. Yesterday I had her outside, and every time an airplane went by, she looked up. But that's about it. Like, that's it. That's, that's all I've noticed. Mm -hmm. Anything that makes a sound in the house, you want to point to you and you'll say, I hear that because one, one day she's going to get this cochlear implant and she's going to hear so many different sounds, but she's not going to know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. And so what you're going to do is you're going to say, Mia, I hear that. Listen. And then she's going to learn that this is something interesting to attend to. Oh. Mm -hmm. That is a sound for the horse. Mia. 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 I hear that. You hear that? I hear that. Mommy, can you make that sound? That's so horsey. Do you have any questions about, you know, what to expect in the next couple of weeks? I'm excited and, and nervous. Just, yeah. just not nervous for the results or anything like that, but just nervous because it's an operation. Yeah. You know. I'll be there with you, yeah. you know. Sorry. That's okay. That's Holding okay. your hand through this whole process because it's a little scary yeah. and emotional and uh, fun too. And it should be fun. Mm -hmm. You should always come here for therapy, having a great time. Amanda is taken to the OR waiting room. Okay, Amanda, ready to go? What we're going to do is we're going to expose the spine to so make an incision up and down on Amanda's back. In the very, very bottom part of her, of her spine, there's this, this spinal cord. The nerves are sitting right under the soft tissues. There's no bone between them. We have to be really careful at the bottom part of the spine not to inadvertently damage the nerves. Mia is taken to her final appointment with her surgeon. Hey, punk, what do you want to know? What do you want to know? You know what? She's having, she's finally deaf. So she's having a cochlear implant sometime in the near future. So she's gone through the whole candidacy thing. Parents have asked a zillion questions. And now she's just sort of checking out the world. So what do you want, what do you want to know? Anything at all. Ask anything. Hello, you little person. Do you want to go? No, no, don't go. <laughs> no, no, are you going to cry? <laughs> you're going to cry. And usually surgery is around, what, two, three hours? Mm -hmm. Two, three hours. A small incision behind the ear. Oh, behind? Yeah. Okay. That's right. Right there, the end of the hearing aid. And then... That's it? You don't make any more cuts higher up? No. Oh, wow. Are you disappointed? No. <laughs> That's good. Um, and then the hard work begins, of course. The regular hard the work. Teaching, yeah. yeah. But we're looking work. forward to that too. Yeah. It wasn't in the baby book, but that's your baby book, and right. that's the way it's going to be. And she's going to do really well. She's going. Yeah. She's young, so they do really well when they're implanted young. And yeah. she has a good head. Isn't it a small head? Oh, oh yeah, it's a small. Head. It is. <laughs> oh, I know. Small. That's what I keep thinking. Look how small it is. Oh, I pin this one. It's beautiful. No, it's not the smallest. <laughs> it's not the smallest. <laughs> Oh, that was really nice. This is this is That's her communicating. This is really, really nice. <laughs> Mia will return for her cochlear implant surgery in two days.
Five-year-old Matthew injured his foot in a bicycling accident eight days ago and is still unable to stand. His family doctor is concerned the wound won't heal without a skin graft and has sent him to the ER to see a plastic surgeon. Tell me about your bike trip. Uh, uh, um, I, I caught it riding my dad's bicycle. Mm -hmm. yeah. But where were you when you were biking? Uh, where uh, were you? Holland. Holland. Were you visiting anybody there? Yes. Mm -hmm. My daddy was there. Oh. He, she lived in my Oma's house, but oh. now he lives in the Amsterdam. Oh. Did you see your Oma when you were there? Yes. Yeah. This doesn't hurt at all. No, it doesn't. Do you know about that? Blood pressure? Yeah. Oh, you're yeah, pretty I'll smart do it. Okay. Okay, let me tighten it up first. Okay. Okay, and then I'll tell you when to stop, okay? You let me have a listen. I just got to put this right here, okay? Okay, you pump it up. Pump it up to when it gets, stop when it gets to that one, that number right there. Excellent. Do you want to take it off? Yes. I'm going to take this thing off. Fabulous. You're a good helper. Like this. Any idea how long? Or? No, as soon as, well, we'll page them again if they don't answer soon, and then uh, we'll have you, you know, as soon okay. as we know. Okay. Okay. I like more balloon hands. Okay. Thanks. Okay. That wasn't bad. Oh. Did she hurt you? Nah. nah. She was gentle. You're going to be brave? Yes. Oh, boy. Come on. So what else does it need? I think it needs... Hmm. Tiny. A tongue? Yeah. Very nice. Amanda has been in surgery for five hours. Doctors have safely exposed her spine and are ready to insert the rods that will straighten it. You like that? I think it looks okay. okay. We have some bolt cutters for the rod. Yeah. Okay, good. So let's now look at how our lamp is going to be when we put this in. This is all they have to go on the outside part of the spine. Like that for a minute? Okay, well, what do you think, guys? It's straighter, isn't it? Okay. Once doctors close, Amanda's surgery will be complete. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Every, everything oh, went just oh, fine. That was a long, long day. Uh, we fused her spine. We fused up a bit higher on her spine probably than I really anticipated was going to have to go just to get her into a straight position. Okay. But I think she be, would be unhappy if after all this she wasn't yeah, straight after right, all right, after right, after right. this. The surgery went very, very well. Mm -hmm. So she's awake. Oh, They're okay. taking the breathing tube out right now. She can wiggle her toes and everything, no problem. There's no problem with the nerves or anything. Okay, do you have any other questions at all? <laughs> no, that's... Thank you very much. You go have a rest. Okay. Yeah, thank okay, you. we'll see you later. Okay. Thank have you very much. Night. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank Bye. you. Amanda, you're all right. It's over. He did really, really good. Nice. I know, but it will get better. Okay. Amanda, I'm going to give you this pump. You know about the pump to push the button press for your pain? It. Pardon? Press no, I can't it. press it. It's you. You're the patient. You press it, dear. Okay? I can't, please. You can yeah, do you this. can do it. You can do it, sweetie. I'm going to show you what to do. This is the button there. You can press your button now. Hear that beep? That was your medicine that you got, the beep, OK? You've got that in your hand, remember? Nobody's, Nobody's going nowhere, babe. We're both right here. We're both right here. Mia has a final checkup to ensure she is healthy for surgery. Hi, how about you can have it and chew on it? You're too cute. There you go. Yeah. Look at your hair. Hey, Mia. Oh, good. Good. 
no temperature. That's no. good. So basically what happens here this morning is around 7.30 we're going to take you downstairs to the second floor to the preoperative room and that's where you'll see Dr. Papson and you'll see the anesthetist, the doctor that's going to put the baby to sleep. And then when they're ready they'll just take the baby from you. She gets a little mask put over her face. Okay. She okay. goes to sleep with the oh. mask and then okay. she gets her, her knee up. Oh, okay. that's nice. All right. Okay. Hi, miss. Mia will be taken to the operating room in just a few minutes. Plastic surgery is available to examine Matthew's injured foot and determine if he needs a skin graft. Hey, Matthew. Does this bug you? Does it hurt? Yeah. Yeah? Can we have a look at it? Yeah. You know what the best oh, is? OK, why don't you take it off for us? Wow. What are you doing for it? I'm taking good care. You certainly are. <laughs> you know what we need to do? We need to yeah. clean it up a little bit. Hey, Matthew, let me start it and then you can finish it, okay? Uh, I need to do you this. hold this thing. The doctor has to the doctor has to try it, hon, okay? Just to just to uh fix well, let me it. Do up here. Okay. Oh. It's okay. Is that sore? Oh. Is it x-rays? Um, they they gave him one in Amsterdam. They said nothing was broken. Okay, hang on. Okay. Just to clean it to see how deep it is, honey, wow. okay? There's a lot of um, ointment in there. You see, Mom, this is already starting to heal in from the edges. Okay. And this was a full thickness wound in that there's no skin at the bottom, but I think it's small enough that it is going to heal quite nicely, okay. and it's not going to need a skin graft. And the key thing for this is to keep it clean, and as I just mentioned, keep it moist. Okay, okay. it's your turn now, all right? Go you ahead. do this. Give it a good wipe. Um, I'm a little worried about his ankle, though. Well, we he can't just... move it at all. I know. I'm just thinking maybe we should ask the doctor to have a look at him. Okay. Okay. Okay, say bye-bye. Give me five. Give me five. All right. Okay. Good boy. Thanks, guys. We're going to have one more doctor come in. See if, how much you can move it, and then we're out of here. Okay? No. I know. You can play video games for another few minutes. No. Mia's parents take her to the OR waiting room. Oh, she's so it's good. Yeah. 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 Nerves, but you know. It's good for her that she's sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. She's been up since five o'clock this morning. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, you kept her up on purpose? No, no she, she got, up. She okay. got okay. up. I think she knows it's happening today. <laughs> Maybe we could wheel her in her stroller? You want that yeah, back? Yeah, sure. And then that's probably And then we'll bring it back. And then we'll bring it back. Yeah. She won't even notice that everything is changing. Everybody done enough smoothing? We're going. Once Mia is anesthetized, her cochlear implant surgery can begin. Mia's cochlear implant surgery is about to get underway. Okay, well, let's clamp the suction and then we'll uh, get, get your stuff ready so you're happy. Folks. So we make a little cut in the skin, a tiny little cut, both of them, throw them both in. And then we're slowly going to move forward and develop the pocket for the implant. Such a nice family, this, these folks are just a nice family. I hope this is, this is going to be a good end, a good happy ending. Okie dokie, now then, can I have the baby rotated towards me, please? Okay, let's get ready to drill. A little more. Perfect, because we try and keep the blood loss as low as possible. All right. On the back is one of the big veins, the sigmoid sinus that drains the brain, so that's another one we don't really want to mess with.
Matthew and his mother wait for orthopedics to review x-rays of his injured foot. Hi, Matthew. I've had a look at his x-rays here, and I don't see anything broken. Was he able to walk after this? He hasn't walked since. He hasn't walked he hasn't since. Put any, he's tried to progression a couple of times, yeah. but he's, it hurts too much, he says. OK. So. What if I tried to get you to stand? We'll hold you so that you don't put much weight on it, and then we'll slowly allow you to put a little bit of weight on there. Well, that really is going to hurt. Well, we try? We'll give just it a, sh a try. No, you can no. just put your heel down only. All right, I'll lift you down. We'll, okay. we'll get that after. OK. So stand on your good foot first. OK. Yeah, hold the bed, and then put your other foot down yeah, slowly. That's I'm holding you too, OK? And your mom's right here. We're all here. Really you won't fall. Putting me there. You have okay. to try, honey. Try and put your heel down. You can stand just on your heel. Just on your heel. Put this foot back here. Match it up to the other one. No. Just match it to the other one. There, so they're even. Oh, that really hurts when it goes to the other one. Just at the back? Yeah, I can, okay. I can, I can only do this and then it doesn't hurt. Uh, well, the question is, why, so why can't he walk? And I think he can. I think he, one, he's afraid to. And the reason he is is because it hurts. Probably his skin is uh, getting stretched every time he takes a step, and it hurts the back. So okay. um, I think that's that's all it is. He's just, uh, so just more wary of that. We, so. we put it down a little bit more every day. and, and Yeah, I think so. And when the wounds heal up, they'll, um, in a few days or so, uh, you know, in a week or so, he'll probably be more comfortable and be able to put down. All right. Yeah. Is someone going to change his bandage again? Um, I'll ask the nurse to come in and do that. Okay? Okay. Mom, just want to hold his foot up like that, Pammy. Yeah. Okay, we're just going to put band-aids on now, yeah. sweetie. That's it. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Honey? Okay. Just a band-aid, sweetie. It's a band-aid. Then we're going. We're going. Yeah, we're, we're just going to wrap it up. <laughs> okay. That's it. That's it. Yeah, so it's a little bit. We are so done. Okay, you're gone. Thank you. You're very welcome. I know, that's it. I know, and we're out of here. Okay. Okay. It has been a long day in the emergency room for Matthew. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Bye, bye Matthew. Goodbye. Although his cut is still very painful, it should heal on its own, and he should be able to walk in the next few days. One day after scoliosis surgery, Amanda is seen by orthopedics on rounds. Hi there. Hi. Good morning. Morning. How are you feeling? Just a bit sore. Are you wiggling your toes okay? Still? Yep, good. Okay. Everything went really well through surgery. It was a little bit more work for us than I had really thought it was going to be. Sorry. I'm sorry? <laughs> She's apologizing oh, to you. Oh, you don't apologize. Not your, <laughs> not your fault. Uh, you know, I know it's, you're going to be sore and uncomfortable for the next couple of days. It's normal. Until you can relax, you can use your pain medicine as you need it. And, you know, as you start to feel more comfortable, I'll start to get you up and do stuff. Obviously not right now. Not today. Not today. <laughs> okay. She looks very good. Everything looks like it's doing fine. Okay. See you later. Have a good day. Okay. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Mia has been in surgery for two hours. Doctors have safely drilled the hole to insert the cochlear implant. Okay, now comes the cool stuff. Here's the device sitting here in water. Okay. Coming over, big guy. Rectal, please. There it is. On TV now. The electrode's now going in the cochlea. Mid layer. That's it. The operation, she's done. Well, I believe we've got it. Hey, crew. Hi. Hello. It was a thing of beauty. It's all done. Okay, the facial nerve is perfect. It's in. We're just going to test it now. It's just absolutely perfect. Okay. Thank looks you good. very much. Can I give you a hug? Sure. It's Thank perfect. you. Okay. It's going to be fine. <laughs> okay. 
right. Thank you for this gift. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, she's a beautiful baby. <laughs> she no, I just cut it like a tiny little piece of hair. That's all. She's yeah, a beautiful she didn't have baby. Much there no, on the side. Just yeah. a little bump in her head now, and some equipment on the outside, and she's uh, headed for good things. I know. Best I ever. Know. All right, guys. Okay, Thank thanks. You. I think people like that are upset from God. <laughs> Three days after scoliosis surgery, Amanda works with nurses to walk for the first time. You're gonna have to help. Oh, yeah, help Don't worry. Come on. Use your knees. Because there's no muscle. Yes, there, there is. Slowly. You're not going anywhere, too. Like, see where my foot is? You're not going anywhere. Ready? Push up on your knees. Good. Slowly. Push. Hold the wrist. Keep going. You're doing it. Keep going. You're going. Oh, so good. Oh, good. Oh, okay. Oh. Breathe. Take a breath. Oh. Big breath. You're not going anywhere. Okay. Breathe. Just breathe. How's your head? Don't it's a don't. new feel. There's a step. step. You can take a few steps. Go. Uh, there you go, you man. That chair. Good job. Uh, uh, slow down. Yeah, you're moving, not me. Uh, can you come in? Yeah. Amanda must remain in hospital until she is fully mobile. There's only a few steps. Thirteen-year-old Kathy has dangerously high blood pressure. I'm going to get you to sit up here and put the lay down up. Her condition is caused by a narrowing in her aorta, one of the heart's main arteries. Without treatment, Kathy could suffer a heart attack or stroke. And I didn't even know that I had a narrowing in my vein until my mom and doctors told me. Tomorrow, doctors will attempt to insert a tube or stent into Kathy's aorta to make it wider. Well done. Okay. Oh, hello, doctor. Hello. Hi, how are you? Very good. Hi. Are you enjoying yourself today? Thank you. Enjoying? Yeah. Okay. This AJ getting bored. Yeah, I'm leaving her life so you know all about it, huh? All right. Uh, Kathy has uh, coarctation of the aorta, which is a narrowing of her aorta, and it's actually in several spots along the vessel inside her chest. And what we're gonna use is a technique in order to enlarge the vessel by putting in a metal tube called a stent. And it stays in permanently within the vessel, but it gives it a framework, it gives it a support so it doesn't squeeze down again. And why is it important now is that we've been following her for a couple of years and she's got uh, systemic hypertension, which means that her blood pressure in her arms are very high. And in the long term, that can be very dangerous. And once we put the tube in and eliminate the narrowing, her blood pressure will be normal. Is so the whole procedure is going to be done through the... Through the through That's right. Mm -hmm. Sound like a good plan? Mm -hmm. I guess so. All right. Good. So I'll, I'll see you tomorrow then. Thank you. Kathy will return for surgery in the morning. One day after her cochlear implant surgery, Mia's parents wait for rounds. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Yeah. So how was last night? Good. Great. At the beginning, um, she was she wanted to be held most most of the night, uh -huh. but pain control. She didn't really need pain medication. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to remove the dressing this morning and the drain. That'll probably be yeah. painful for her. No. No. no? Not at all. The tape. Yeah. 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 Oh, she's we'll preoccupied. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. Beautiful. Ooh. Hi. <laughs> Hey. She loves glasses. Hey, <laughs> what are you doing? All done. Little tape. Oh, that's it. Sweet. Okay. Okay. Was it true? Okay. The worst is done. The worst is done. Oh yeah. That's it. All done. Okay. Perfect. I know. But you know what? Then, then it's yes. just that tube, and then right. they're done. I know. Just a simple pull. She's gonna hurt. Okay. Oh, look at all this. 
That's it. All well done. Done. That's it? Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. Mia's wound must heal before the cochlear implant can be activated. So one part is in, and then we get the rest of the equipment in three weeks. So it's going to be probably three weeks. That'll feel like three years. <laughs> but uh, we waited this long, you know. Oh, see, it's not so bad. Six days after scoliosis surgery, Amanda is ready to be discharged. So much better, isn't it? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Uh, improved. Good. Good. Go for lunch. Yeah. What? Do you think when you've seen yourself in the mirror? The first time, I didn't really know, but I'm happy with the second. Like, I'm straighter. And it's better because like when we went to Florida, it was like crooked and everyone's kind of staring and just kind of like, but now it's a lot better, so happy. Yeah, so hopefully next year, go to the beach or something, it'll be better. Yeah. So. Amanda will return to hospital in six weeks for x-rays and a checkup to ensure her straightened spine is healing well. Kathy is taken to have her aorta repaired. You hop up here. There you go. There we go. And your mom's gonna stand beside you here if she doesn't get hit by all the equipment. There we go. Now, did you want to try and bring some laughing gas, or do you just want the little pinch? Yes, I'll have the little pinch. Okay. I'll tell you when. On your mark. Get set. Go. A little pinch. That's it. Like the bird. Done. How was that? Oh, didn't hurt. Didn't hurt. Isn't Perfect. That great? That a girl. Yeah. Doctors begin by threading a line into a vein in Kathy's groin up to her aorta. Well, what we're doing now is to uh, make a direct measurement of uh, the length and the size of the neuron. There's the, the wow. neuron. So let's see. Up here it measures 20 millimeters. That's 10. Now that the narrowing in Kathy's aorta has been measured, the team prepares to insert the stent. The, the, um, artery that supplies blood to the spinal cord comes off the aorta in that area. So we want to be careful not to put the tube uh, near that vessel, because if we occlude it, she'll, she'll have some problems with her spinal cord. Three weeks after surgery, Mia can be fitted with the external part of her cochlear implant. So she's doing well? She's doing really good. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to give you the equipment today, and there's a lot of stuff to go oh, over. Wow. I know. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now we've got all the parts, okay? So the microphone that's going to go behind your ear is going to pick up the sound. The sound is going to go down to the speech processor, and the speech processor is going to like process the sound and convert it into electrical right. stuff. So once it goes down here and converts it into electrical energy, it goes back up, and then the coil will transmit the information down to the implant, down to the right. cochlea, and then she'll hear. All right, so let's try it out with the, um, let me just see if the coil is tight enough. Good, that's perfect. That, so if you can feel that kind of tightness. Yeah. That, <laughs> good, that's it. So she's got all the parts on her now. Oh my God, I know. If, she, if you find that she does try to pull it off a lot, just give her 10 minutes so she doesn't get too much attention from it, and then try again. Okay. It, but it is, as you know, it's really important to have a word. I know, I know. Next week's going to be big. I know. Okay. Mia will wear the equipment for one week before her cochlear implant is activated, and she is able to hear for the first time. It's going to be exciting eh? yeah. to see her reaction when they turn around. Yeah. And, and we'll be I'm sure she'll probably cry. That's yeah. the reaction most children 
give when they turn them on, because it's a new sensation for them. Hopefully, well, she will. Yeah. She will learn to uh, accept the sounds and, and hear us and learn to talk. We're very hopeful. Yeah. We're looking forward to every day. We'll take it one day at a time. Right? Kathy's operation has been underway for two hours. Doctors are now inserting the stent to widen her aorta. Okay. What we want is we want it to be around there. Okay. Go back to overload and just fade in. And fade out. Fade in. So now we're inflating it. You can see where the waist is. On the right, with the catheter just inside the stent, across the area of narrowing, you can see that the stent is positioned uh, and inflated so that that 10 millimeter lesion is now expanded to about 17 millimeters in diameter. So the wire can come out. Everything looks okay. Everything went well. No problems. Yeah. She's just waking up now. That's good. Sit, relax. Yeah. And here's where the nearing was. Yeah. Right. Really, right there. really narrowing here. Yeah. So then here's the metal tube that we put in. Mm -hmm. And this is what it looks like now. So there's the difference. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks, oh, yeah. looks good. Right, and the pressure's mm -hmm. down to normal. Now, sometimes after the kids wake up, your blood pressures go up high. And we're gonna watch that overnight. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. uh, if she needs to be started on some medication, we'll take care of that before you go. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Tato. Good. Great. <coughs> Thanks. Yeah, good. Thank you. Bye -bye. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. One month after surgery, Mia's cochlear implant can be turned on. First, the audiologists will activate the implant to respond to signals made by their computer. Um, so what yeah. I'm going to do is just take a random sampling of electrodes, and when I say go, 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 mm -hmm. that's the three beeps that she's hearing. So we're just going to go higher and higher until it seems like she's, she's hearing something. Okay. okay. Go, go, go. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was soft. I'll go up a little higher just to make yeah. sure. I want to be sure. Go, go. Yes. Oh, that one pushes yes. you hard. Good, 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 good job. Yeah. What was that? That's good. <laughs> yeah, let's see that again. Good, okay. Go, go, go. Yes. That was for sure. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Good job. <laughs> um, so far, all she's been hearing is electrode by electrodes. Right. What I'm going to do now is go live and turn all the electrodes on, okay? Um, so I'll let you know when we're live, and I'll, I'll let you be the first one to talk to her. Yeah. Okay? We actually like it when they cry because we know that it's working. It's never hurt anything. Oh, no, no. It'll take, uh, take a while for her to get used to, you know, all the sounds. And what things mean? It could take some time before Mia can tolerate the experience of hearing sound. Mia has 
now been able to hear for nine days. Today she has a chance to meet another cochlear implant recipient, 1995's Miss America, who is in Toronto to promote the procedure. Let me get the cochlear. Oh my goodness, look at that. The cochlear. She wants, I, she wants to, to show you her crown. Oh. Hey, can you put this on her head? Can I show the mirror? Look this way. Oh, oh. That's, that's better. <laughs> hey, yeah, she loves it. She loves it. She loves I, I she wanted loves one. At, at there the beginning, you go. when we put it on, uh -huh. she cried. She cried. at the beginning, first two days, and now she cries when I take it off. Yeah. Today we had her mapping and. So it wasn't taken off, but we turned it off. Hello. And she cried the whole time. And she points to her ear, trying to tell us, I want it back on, I want to hear. Really, really? Yeah. She's pretty, she, she's a very bright girl. Yes. Of course yeah. I am, eh? If, if you saw her before, I'm going to cry. <laughs> okay. There was a sadness in her eyes. Yeah. That's gone. Okay. You know, like what you said, you do good. You're a great mom. It's not really sadness. It was like I wish I could show you a picture of her before. Like a blank. She was just like a blank look, you know. And now, now it's just a joy. She's enjoying her family, her brothers, and you know, her brother and sister. For the rest of my life, I'll be thankful every day, you know. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Bye. 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 You don't have to be nervous anymore. Okay. It's over. One day after her heart operation, Kathy remains on the cardiac unit. Good morning again. I see you got dressed. But everything went well, as you know. The blood pressure in her arm is now normal, and her pulses in her leg are easy to feel and normal. Uh, she doesn't need any special medicine uh, because the blood pressure is okay. Yes. So I'll be able to see her again in six months. Six months. For the next month or so, she shouldn't do any um, heavy lifting. You could still, could still take the garbage out and do your, make your bed and the dishes, but um, you know, no real heavy boxes and those kinds of things. Uh, okay, take care of your mom and dad now, all right? Okay, bye thanks bye. again, Doctor. Bye-bye. What do you say? Oh, okay. Thanks. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye, Jimmy. Okay, little star. Although Kathy's heart condition will continue to be monitored, doctors are not expecting any complications. Just 24 hours after her operation, Kathy can return home with a normal heart. Six weeks after her scoliosis surgery, Amanda returns for x-rays and a checkup to ensure her spine is healing. Amanda, big breath in and hold it. Great. Doing? Good. Good? You doing okay? Yeah. Okay. How's your back been doing? It's good. Giving any trouble at all? No. Great. Nothing? Have you seen your x-rays? No. Okay. There's your x-ray from before. You can see there was a curve in your back from before. Can you see you can actually measure the curves using this technique? And it measures to be at about 50, 50 degrees through this area. Okay, and then here you here's your x-rays today. And you can measure the curve in the same area here, from about here to, I think we measure to about here. And if your surgery, it measures to be 14 degrees. So it's a big difference. Okay? So you did perfect. Get a, get a perfect A+. plus. Get you your hand. Yeah. Okay. That is amazing. Well, thank you. That's nice. Amanda continues to make a good recovery from her surgery. She will have to be patient as her spine heals. But Amanda should be able to get back to basketball in the next year. Hello. Mia Hello. has been hearing for one month. Did you hear that? Now that she is comfortable with her cochlear implant, she can begin the exciting journey of learning to understand the meaning of sound. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? Mia. 